Hello Scorpio, how's it going? Hope you are very, very well. My name is Madam Butterfly, for those of you who do not know me and are new here. And we're going to do a love reading for January, but it is a timeless reading, Scorpio, so whenever you happen to find it, you know, is when you're supposed to see it. You are very, very welcome here, Scorpio. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it a lot. And if you find that it resonates with you and you enjoy it, hopefully both, um, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that a lot. So I'm going to start by pulling um, an oracle card from the Psychic Tarot. Oh, that's too many, Spirit. I just want one, please. This one seems to want to come out. Oh, you have Healing Begins. So this is the Six of Swords in the... Um, what do we call it? The Rider Waite Tarot. Healing begins. So the Six of Swords and the Rider Waite and healing begins here. So this is all about moving into like a much more harmonious phase of your life or a phase of a relationship. So there could be, let's see where that goes. But it's going to be good news anyway, you know, because the the preceding card in the Rider Waite, like the Five of Swords, is it's all about conflict and like, you know, maybe inhabiting like a, um, a, a not great mental headspace for yourself, like maybe overthinking things, maybe being quite like too self-deprecating, you know, this kind of thing. Um, or if you're dealing with, you know, maybe you were dealing with someone that ghosted you in the past, someone that doesn't you know, basically treat you the way that you should be treated, Scorpio. You're moving away from that person now. That could be friends, family. Oh my God, okay. So what Spirit wants you to know is the High Priestess. And you have the Five of Pentacles with it as well. And you have the Death card, the bottom of the deck. So this is your card. If I can get him to focus. There we go. So this is the Scorpio card you have at the bottom of the deck here. You know, the death card indicates like a new phase, um, some kind of transition period, like could be the end of a dark night of the soul. I don't know if you've been in a bit of a dark night of the soul energy, Scorpio. Because you have the High Priestess with the Five of Pentacles here, you know, the Five of Pentacles often talks about feeling left out in the cold or being left out in the cold. It can talk about depression. You know, um, sorry about that light. Hopefully that's not too annoying. Um, yeah, but what spirit wants you to know with the high priestess here, like your intuition is very, very on point at the moment. You should listen, listen to what your intuition is telling you because you're about to come in out of the cold, you know, especially with this healing begins card and you have the death card at the bottom of the deck. Huge transition period coming in for you. I want to say it's an end to like a, a period of depression or something, maybe Scorpio. Or a really long period of like feeling like you don't deserve love or something like this. But you're about to come out of it. But yeah, listen to your intuition because it's very, very on point at the moment. Okay, what else please? Wow, it's so interesting that your cards are coming out in twos. That's weird. You weirdos. <laughs> what are you doing? You have the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands in the present position. So, and you also have the Tower at the bottom of the deck. So, this is things changing. And you have the Star who's just wanted to come out here as well. <clears throat> excuse me so you're being guided towards someone or something like you're either being guided to leave someone behind or you're being guided towards someone you're gonna know you know better than I, I, I am what's going on there but you have the tower and you have the star the star is all about being guided towards something it's also a healing period 
And that tower is, um, it's change. It's some kind of, the tower specifically talks about, it's like some kind of belief system that's coming down so that something new can be rebuilt. And I feel with you guys, there's like this, um, yeah, eight of swords, there's like this lack of confidence in yourselves or there's like, it's almost like, like you kind of project into the future. You're like, oh, this isn't going to work out. This person doesn't like me. You know, like there's this kind of lack of faith um, that you're going to get what you want, basically. And I feel like a lot of it comes from like lack of confidence. But the two of wands, I mean, this talks about, it's like you've been given this kind of gift by the universe. And I want to say that the gift is like a new way of thinking about yourself. There's real growth here. Um, I think you're feeling quite stuck with the Eight of Swords for some reason. Like you're feeling kind of stuck. You feel like you can't move forward. But there's also this period of growth going on with you. And there's like a lot of change. Yeah. You have the Four of Wands here, which talks about a huge milestone. You're reaching some kind of huge milestone. Okay, what else please? So you have the Eight of Cups in your past. Oof, all right. So you walked away from something in your past. This could be the recent past. It could be quite like distant past, but you've decided to walk away from something. All right, let's see. What's the future for Scorpio, please? What's the future for Scorpio, please? It's so weird that your cards are coming out in twos. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, Scorpio. You have the Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So there's some kind of reconciliation here in your future, like your near future. This could be with the person you decided to walk away from. I'm going to clarify later on in the reading who this is, but Six of Cups is some kind of reconciliation with someone. It could be with a Queen of Swords energy um, or a Queen of Cups, which would be um, Queen of Swords, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Cups, uh, the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Kind of looks like you're a little defensive with whoever this person is coming back. Kind of looks like you got your guard up. All right, and what is the outcome, please? They want to say to you, just hold on Scorpio, because you're nearly where you're supposed to be. And it's been really hard, but you're nearly there. Wow, you have the star in your outcome. What beautiful card to get in your outcome, Scorpio. This is wish fulfillment. The star card is actually called a reward card. Like it often, um, it, it appears like, it's, it's called an accomplishment. Um, it appears like when you have learned some kind of huge karmic lesson and then the reward comes in basically. So there's some kind of reward here, some kind of wish fulfillment, um, someone that you're being guided towards because you have the judgment card at the bottom of the deck here too. So it's someone that you're being guided towards, fated connection.
going to be a very healing connection. Let's see who this is. And like I said, the star's wish fulfillment, it's happiness. Knight of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn, specifically. This is somebody who's taken a long time to get here, I would say. Let's just check. I want to see who this is. Who is this person coming in for Scorpio, please? Okay. Whoever this person is, you are their sunshine. Make them very happy, Scorpio. Okay. Who is this person, please? Okay, this person, whoever they are, they've been hurt in the past. Okay. Who is this person, please? They're not as confident as they seem, so this person might have a little bit of confidence issues because of something that's happened in their past. Okay, is this someone new or they're a little guarded? Is this somebody new or does Scorpio already know them? Very strong attraction because it's a past life connection. See, these came out together. I'm trying to get, like, if you know this person. Your soul knows them. Let's see about signs as well. The star, it could be an Aquarius. The high priestess, it could be a Pisces. Okay, so they might have had, yeah. This is someone, I felt like it was. <clears throat> this is somebody you already know. They have some commitment issues, or they did in the past, Scorpio. But it's to do with like something that happened to them. And I know that's no excuse. I'm not making excuses for them. I'm just saying like, I just read the cards, dude. <laughs> you know, um, but they had something in the past that hurt them. They're a little guarded. They're not as confident as, you know, they maybe project quite co a confident kind of energy, but they're not really. So Knight of Pentacles, they might be of the two of you, you might be the more mature. You know, they might be younger than you. But it's someone that's taken a long time to make this offer. What else, please, would you like Scorpio to know about this person? What would you like Scorpio to know about this person coming in? Page of Swords. This is delayed news. This has been coming out so much recently. This page of swords. I hope that's focused. It's tougher for the camera to focus on these cards because they're more detailed. In case you're wondering why I'm screwing around with them more. Um, I do love this deck. Oh, they're super cute. So page of swords, more air energy. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have Justice at the bottom of the deck, it could be a Libra. But this is delayed news coming in from someone. For some of you, this is delayed news coming in from a Libra. Like a delayed conversation, you know, not necessarily news, like they're not going to be like, oh, I have news. <laughs> you know, it's a conversation. Um, Alright, what else about this person would you like Scorpio to know? The tower, um, they could be an Aries as well, the tower. But if I haven't said their sign, please don't worry, because it can still be them, you know. So you have um, the tower here. I want to say that they're going to come in a little out of the blue with the tower, like a little bit out of nowhere. I want to clarify that tower, okay? Um, clarify the, the Knight of Pentacles for me. Thank you. King of Cups. So they could definitely be another water sign. That's also another Libra card, the King of Cups. So they could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Libra. I just love this deck. It's so cute, I think. The colours, I just really like the colours. Like a six-year-old. Like, everything has to be primary colours. 
Um, so the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Cups. This person is super slow about making a decision, okay? King of Cups, though, they're very, um, they're very fair. They're very balanced. I should have said that with the Justice card as well, actually. Like, this person is very fair, very balanced. You know, they like things to be equal. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, because that's also Aquarius energy. But they're very compassionate, very kind. They could do something to do with like creativity or art for a living, or they could be heavily involved in that outside of their work. Um, they're very stable. They are very, very stable. It's taken a long time for this person to get to making this offer to you, but very stable energy. Very, very sweet. Huge heart. Absolutely huge capacity for love. The King of Cups is the King of Love. Or the Queen of Love, you know, whoever you're dealing with. Um, but in the tarot, girls can be kings. So, you know. Um, yeah, just a very, very sweet energy. This person's going to be very loving, very supportive. Clarify the Page of Swords for me, please. Clarify the Page of Swords for me, please. Thank you. Um, so you have the Page of Swords with the Strength card. So they could be a Leo. Yeah, this is a long overdue conversation. That Strength card The strength card is all about, um, like, sorry, I'm getting involved in the cards here. Um, like, the strength card is all about building something very solid with someone, you know, like, it's a, it's a really long overdue conversation about what you both want. This person's going to be very honest with you about something. They're going to... And I want to say, like, I want to qualify this like if they're an air sign because I'm an air sign myself this will be a big deal for them because we don't like talking about emotions right so if it is like um an air sign coming in here I think this is probably taking a lot for them to do this right but they want to know where they stand they want to know what you want you know they want to build something very solid with you based on a foundation of truth is is the strength card you know and they're hoping that you're going to be compassionate and loving towards them, even though I feel like this has taken them a long time to get to this place. And uh, clarify the tower for me. Clarify the tower for me. Six of wands. Okay. And the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this person could um, have their own business with this Eight of Pentacles, you know, they um, there's something that they're very good at, there's something that they probably get a lot of acclaim for with the Six of Wands. This person's definitely been through something with the Tower. I feel like they've had to rebuild. Something ended and they had to rebuild. Or maybe they met you, you triggered them. You know, they had to rebuild. There's something here about rebuilding. But with the Six of Wands, they've overcome a lot. They've overcome uh, failures or they've overcome something that was holding them back, right? And now they're moving forward. They're in a good place though, Scorpio. They've been making this plan for a while about what they want to say to you and like how they're going to approach this with you. There could be someone that's like in the spotlight in some way. But yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. I wouldn't usually say with the Eight of Pentacles somebody owns their own business, but she's clearly got a shop here. So, you know, they could have their own business. It could be something to do with like creating things. But they're very, very good at what they do. 
Um, they're also a very hard worker. They could be a Virgo with this uh, Eight of Pentacles. Like they're they're a bit of a perfectionist. You know, they like things to be good. They like things to look good. This person, um, yeah, I would say they're probably quite. If they're creative, they make beautiful things because they like things to look good. Is what I want to say about this person. So I'm going to jump into the extended Libra, but I'm going to pull an oracle card before I do. So in the extended, I'm going to talk like more about your person. Like I'm going to try and get, well, we're going to get, there is no try. Do or do not go, there is no try. That was Yoda. <laughs> uh, any, any hoozles. Um, yeah, we're going to get some characteristics about them, what they want to say to you, how they feel about you and what their likely actions are going to be. But first, yeah, this is, t it, it might, the way that they contact you might be kind of sporadic because I feel like they're having to get the courage to do this. And it's going to be kind of an energy of like, screw it, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to call them. I'm just going to message them. It's going to be something like that. I think it's taken this person a lot of their inner strength to get to a place where they can call you or have this conversation with you. Are we going to take this one? No, okay. What would you like Libra to know, please? Did I say Libra? Scorpio. Sorry, guys. Um, you have boundaries and you have the gardener, right? This is a new deck, so just give me two seconds to look up the book. Ow. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. So at the bottom, you have boundaries um, and you have the gardener as well. Came out for you. So... You need to work on having some boundaries, okay? Um, there's no easy way to say that, but I feel like you... Tr Basically, I feel like you give too much of yourself to people um, and then it really affects you when they don't give as much back to you, right? But this person at the time, I'm not making excuses for them, like I said, but they just weren't able to give you what you could give them at the time, right? But the gardener, I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's huge, but I'm just going to read like the Cliff's Notes version. Um, yeah, it says, in nature, you cannot rush or force things. You cannot have fruit from your tree without planting the seed first and tending it patiently. Um, it's time to bring your attention to the work of your inner and outer gardener. It's time to consider what areas of your life need some weeding, planting, fertilizers, <laughs> fertilizing, and other forms of constructive attention. Planning is required followed by action taken with a willingness to work towards your goals realistically. And it's come out with boundaries. Um, it's also a card about the divine feminine, the gardener. So you're being asked at the moment here, like this person is coming in with an offer, but um, I feel like this time that you had at the moment was to kind of help you get rid of this feeling that you're not enough or feeling like you always have to give everything that you have to someone else, right? Like, it's not okay for you to just be yourself. You always have to be trying to rescue someone or you have to be trying to help someone. No, no, enough of that. Like, it's time for you to put some boundaries in place and, you know, and be like, I don't need this person to make me happy. I am happy on my own. You know what I mean? But this person is coming in anyway. But I feel like that was the lesson that you were kind of being taught when you guys were in separation. Um, also, they're saying, like, don't try and rush it with this person. Like, it's going to happen in its own time. You know, because um, one of the things about rushing it is, like, it kind of comes from a place of thinking that you're not going to get it right, is what I realized <laughs> over the years because I was always trying to rush everything and it, I realized I was doing it because it's like, but someone's going to take it away, right, which is not healthy because that's a lack mindset. So that was something that I 
thought was interesting. Um, but yeah, so like rather than being focused on giving all your energy to this person, like think about yourself and what's going to make your life better. You know, how you can heal yourself, like how you can make yourself feel better without focusing on how you're going to try and make this person feel better, right? I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to jump into the extended reading Scorpio. If I see you over there, awesome, looking forward to it. But if not, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And take care Scorpio, lots of love.